Hello and welcome to another episode of Strassland Cast, and my name is Real Zero. Uh, for today's subject, we will be talking about uh, Crossfire X, a game that is generally awful. There's some funny aspects to it, but other than that, there's not a lot to be said about the game. Um, and, and all, in all fairness, I I saw the game on Games Pass for Xbox, and I thought, you know, sure, why not? I tried it, and it's very um. It's very difficult to defend, let me tell you. Um, so far, when you first download it, the, what's what's worse about it is that there is, there's only two downloads. They didn't implement the story yet, but maybe I saw an update for the Xbox as I was uh, going to... Um, as I was going to sleep last night, so, um, so maybe that was the uh, story, but... Um, when you initially download, there was only two modes of play. One was, uh, uh gosh, um, modern mode, which modern mode is basically there's kill streaks, there's you can aim down sites like Call of Duty, and then there's classic mode, which you don't aim, and um, it's basically like a uh, like almost like Doom in a sense where you you know there's no aiming and it's very like kind of a twitchy shooter almost. Um, so that's kind of the two modes. Again, there will be a story mode, but again, I, it was a 21 gig update, so hopefully it was that, but again, I haven't seen it so far. Um, other than that, um, again, like I was saying, the game is very bare bones. It's really funny. You can just, um, they give you a, like, a small bit of the in-game currency. Well, not the in-game currency, not the microcurrency, but the, um, like the normal gold or, or like cash you get, like, uh, Kind of like um in like Call of Duty Black Ops, you know, where you had cash and you could bet on matches for the the gamut matches. Um, they have that for uh, unlocking stuff, so it's really funny. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna say they're lame, but just well, never mind. Maybe I will say they're lame. A lot of people have bought snipers with it, which is kind of lame because snipers are usually one shot kill. But the the funny thing is, there's so many like odd choices for weapons too. Like there's an old like. World War One, World War Two, Lewis gun as a light machine gun type weapon, and you can buy that, and you can buy a mini gun as well, which I just I thought that was just absolutely hilarious. You have 180 rounds; it takes forever to spin up, but I just hold down the uh, the RT, the fire button, and just I I don't care that I'm not hitting things like half of the time. I don't care that like. And it was just funny, it was just like, uh, other people are shooting me, and I'll automatically get a headshot, because my camera is is going up when they're hitting me, so I'll randomly get headshots, like, a good percentage of the time. It's just, and, it, that's, and I'm also unlocking achievements that way. So it's just hilarious that, uh, b by accident, I'm getting tons of headshots, and I'm not even trying for it. Um... The funny thing is, classic mode seems, you know, it's not, like, as bad as the modern mode. There are a lot of problems with the modern mode, which they they have they have not gone on record, but they have said to, you know, some of the gaming uh, news publications that um, they know that there's an issue with the um, one of the primary assault rifles that you can't zoom in and such, and that um, they're going to address the boogeyman thing. The boogeyman in the modern mode is one of the. Uh, sorry, I forgot to say that. In the modern mode, kind of again, again, like more akin to Call of Duty or Battlefield and etc. Like a modern shooter like that. Um, there is uh, there's only like there's there's less there's less mode which than the classic version, which is kind of funnier to me. But uh, for right now, there's only like in classic mode, there's search and destroy. So it's, I imagine that's more like a Call of Duty type thing. And then there's just Team Deathmatch, which again, Team Deathmatch is only on one map, which is even more, like, weird and awkward. It's also funny that the Team Deathmatch map is just basically more or less the ship, um, not shipment from Call of Duty, the, uh, the, the, the shipment, the, 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 the ship, uh, map on Call of Duty that has the rain on it, I can't remember what it's called, um... But maybe maybe it's called wet work. I don't remember. Um, anyway, uh, what I was gonna get at is that it's the the game mode and the and the game type are almost one and the same thing. Which unfortunately they shouldn't do that because it's 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 almost like they're doing the same thing like uh, Smite or um, 
a lot of other MOBAs like Battle Royale games where they just have one map and the and the and the map and the game mode are the same exact thing, and it shouldn't be that because then you're kind of making less work and it makes it look like you're even more lazy at your job than you, uh, you know. So you don't have to like think about it. You don't have to make, you don't have to make an effort to for your uh, project, for your uh, um, for your, the thing that you're working on. Um, but anyway, uh, another thing is um, so sorry. What I was gonna get at across is that in the modern mode, there's a kill streak that is called the boogeyman. The boogeyman has 600 health. You can regenerate health, and Whereas when you're a normal soldier, um, 100 health is your standard. You have 600 health as a boogeyman, and again, it regenerates if you're not currently taking damage. You also have dual wield weapons too, and it's funny when I when I when I played that with um, because I was playing with my brother, and it's just it's it's hilarious how bad the game is. It um I, we were joking around that it's already better than Halo Infinite because there's dual wield weapons, man. That's just that's just really stupid. I mean, they're just it's like anyway, it just cracks me up. Um, but no, uh, what I was gonna get across is that yeah, the the boogeyman or the boogeyman uh kill streak is just so like super ridiculous and crazy, like. I'm surprised they haven't nerfed it. I mean, maybe that update that I saw was them nerfing the, uh, uh, gosh, what's it called? The, um, the item in question, the boogeyman, but again, I don't know what else they were going to do. There, there's two other kill streaks. one that I, I honestly did not try and I didn't remember because it was just so forgettable. Because the other, the last kill streak on the right is the invis, or the invisibility. It's like, Basically, you have like you know, act, active camouflage from Halo, or like um, you know the the uh, the optical the optical camouflage from uh, Metal Gear, and that's great. But it goes its way as soon as you shoot, and it makes and you can tell you kind of can tell from a while it's not as good looking as again like from one of the other from the other games that I just mentioned. Um, so, so suffice to say, um, again, it's just, like, there are so many issues with the game, but, like, how bad it is, it's, it's almost charming. Like, the funny thing is, part of the reason why I love Call of Duty, and not a lot of people will say this, but when a game is more mundane, I feel like, then you have more... Um, then you have more credence in your mind to make it more enjoyable. So you kind of make things more enjoyable based off your own imagination. So probably almost the same thing why, um, you know, uh, so many the uh, so many people were had those custom rooms in Call of Duty with you know um, with the you know with the with the horror rules and all that. So. Um, but yeah, yeah, so, when you really, uh, like, talk about it, um, mundane games like that, which are just kind of really poorly, like, developed, they have a lot of, like, dumb, funny aspects to it, which you wouldn't, you wouldn't know otherwise until you played it, so, so Crossfire X, um, again, hopefully we'll have a story mode later. Again, there's supposed to be a story mode that, again, is apparently free to Games Pass players, but again, I don't know if that update was the story mode or not, and even though whenever they have a story mode, then the funny thing is, I feel like it's more complete and more honest than Halo Infinite, because at the very least, um, the the free battle pass, you can, you can get a free battle pass for the game as well. Um, again, there's, you know, like, you get, uh, rewards for the first one, and then every, I think every subsequent five levels. What's really funny is, um, the first item you receive is, a, like, a, a, like, golden, like, eagle skin, almost, for your, for the base assault rifle. That's even more work than Halo, because 
they actually put like almost like different, you know, or they put a, they they put a little bit of different like actual early you know textures or polygons on the rifle. I can't tell, or I imagine so they did. Um, but what I'm what I'm trying to get at is that they at least it looks like they put more effort into it instead of Halo kind of nickel and diming people for content. It's almost like a lot of people that I mean not to turn into a Halo rant again, but again like it's almost like. I don't know why people are. It, it, it the most funny thing about Halo Infinite is that people say or that publications slash from their website is like, oh, it's the best selling game, uh, Halo, to date, and, kind of, and of course it's gonna be the best Halo. It's a free to play shitty multiplayer shooter. Um. But anyway, about the rant is just that. Um. Uh, you know, it's just, it's old content that they're charging people for. It's almost the same thing that, like, why they don't want to let go, I think it was, you know, Street Fighter X Tech, and I think it was, right? Or Tech and X Street Fighter, I can't remember what the hell it's called. Anyway, remember how, like, so many people were annoyed that they were keeping content locked on the disc? That's the same thing with Halo Infinite. They shouldn't let this go just because it's Halo, and... Are they imagining people have, you know, a 30-second memory of a goldfish? I mean, imagine most people are on Xbox Live. Most people on Xbox Live are pretty damn stupid. But, again, um, like, the the, the bare boneness and, like, honesty of how poor Crossfire X is is leagues above Halo in terms of, like, you know, going beyond what my expe expectations were. Because I didn't, I didn't see a picture... I didn't see, like, anything else of the game. I just saw Crossfire X. Or rather, my brother told me to download it. So I was like, sure. And I played it, and... It's enjoyable for the most part. It's almost like... In 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 all seriousness, it's almost like Warface. Or, like, another, like, modern military shooter where... Again, some of the gameplay aspects are so poor. But at the same time, it was like, they're, like, they're charmingly dumb. So... Uh, anyway, thank you for watching or listening. Uh, this is Reroll Zero signing off.